For a more detailed list of materials and links to where you can buy them, check out the description section. The hook I am using today is a Gamagatsu B10S in size 2. And the thread is Ultra Thread 140 in dark olive. Bring the thread back to the bend of the hook. Clip two strands of crystal flash and cut them in half to equal four strands. Tie them in in the center of the bunch, then pull the forward strands rearward and tie those in as well. Next, I am using a material called crinoline tube. Cut a piece of this slightly shorter than the hook shank. It might take a few tries to get that perfect. That's okay though, because this stuff is really inexpensive. You can pinch it to shrink the end so you can easily tie it in on the back end of the fly. Then you can go ahead and whip finish your thread and clip it off. I like to add a bit of super glue to keep this in place. Then use your bobkin to spread it around. Start your thread at the head of the fly again by pulling back the tube. But be careful, though, not to separate the tubing like I just did a little here. Now, place three 5mm beads inside the tubing and seal up the end with your thread. As you can see, I have a few errant strands from the tubing. And make sure you tie each one of those down. Now, ensure the beads are at the top of the hook shank, as this fly will swim hook point up. Measure out a medium sized olive zonker strip and cut it to size. Then measure to where the strip will push through the hook, and then push through the hook point. Once the zonker strip is pushed through the hook point, pull it up tight against the eye of the hook, then tie it in tightly and trim off the waist. Now clean up the head with a few wraps. I always like to trim the ends of the rabbit zonkers to a point. It helps them move nicely in the water. Now, whip finish your fly. Now grab a few 5 to 7 millimeter 3D eyes of your choice and use some glue to stick them on with. I like using fletch tight, but a gel type super glue could work as well. Stick the eyes on both sides of the fly, right behind the hook eye. With eyes, try to make sure they are aligned evenly. To really keep them secure, and to give the head a finished look, I like filling the spaces between the eyes with UV resin. This resin is made by Solares, and it's their thin hard formula. I also like doing this in steps. So I fill the top with resin, then cure it with the UV light, and then I fill the bottom and cure it in as well. For one last final step, I like adding another type of UV resin made by Solares called Bone Dry. It's really thin and makes a nice shiny finish. It also adds one last layer of protection to keep the eyes on securely even after many strikes from fish. And there we go, the fly is finished. This is surprisingly simple to tie and is very effective. The fly moves really nicely in the water and it will always swim hook point up, which is really nice for snag resistant fishing. 
If you are noticing the tail to swim angled upright, just know this will start swimming better after the skin gets soaked with water. Usually, the first few casts when using a rabbit strip, the strip wants to float a little. Thank you for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. And like I said before, you can find a list with all the materials used today in the description section. Also, let me know in the comments section what you think. Now, it's time for you guys to go catch some fish.